We need a banner. Our emblem. I was thinking of a phoenix. Why waste the money? We have Sir Hector's white stag. Someone may recognize it. We need to be reborn. Like a phoenix. Rising from the ashes. A lion. Lying down with his head raised. Oh, yeah, lion. But, but walking, right forepaw raised. Uh, Abbot up on his iron legs. All of his weight on his leg. No, the right. The weight on the right. No, everyone uses lions. Can't you see the phoenix? Its end is its beginning. Like myself. Oh, well, if it's all about you, pick what you want. You're the knight, we're just humble servants. I made a phoenix like the three of us, not just myself. Three phoenixes, then. Three it is. And it may be grasping in his talons a lion. Well, just think about it. Jimmy. My lord? That night there, that badge is it. Ah, triple phoenixes. Ulrich von Lichtenstein, the Duke of Gelderland. Gelderland? Well east of the Rhine, I believe. Make me aware if it looks like I shall face him. Yes, my lord, Adamar. Heavier. By God and my arm, this Gelderlander will know he was struck. He has no weakness, William. No bad habit to exploit. Just aim it dead centre and hang on. My lord, the Count Adamar, son of Philip de Vitry, son of Gilles of Champagne, master of the free companies, defender of the faith. A shining example of chivalry and manhood. Uh, uh. You're not fit to herald the wood chopper. Good people, I will not tax you further with another long list of nobility. God knows! The nobility has taxed you long enough! Is this a betrayal? Of who? Of us? No. I cannot look upon my Lord Ulrich, for I weep to see his shining face. My Lord is a gift to your eyes, for we shall never, ever see his like upon this earth again. I would list his lineage if it served to honor him. Most men here, it's sad, but it's true. They do look to their past to prove their worth. They look to the deeds of their 
fathers now. So Ulrich has great ancestors, make no mistake about that. Sir Schillard von Reckberg. Duke Gelf of Saxony. Vendish, the fourth Earl of Brunswick. But these great, great men pale into insignificance. Next to him, I do not list them to honor him. I list him to honor them. Without further egging the custard and with no more ado, I give to you the keeper of the flame of Aragon, first man through the breach at the Battle of Bethlehem, the seeker of serenity, the protector of Italian virginity, the enforcer of our Lord God, the one, the only, Sir See, that is why I won't do two shows a day anymore. You are no dancing lord? No. I never did enjoy your uh, understand music. It always sounded like children fighting to me. A physician once said I was deaf to the tones, blind to the colours of the instruments. Some say music is a sin. I enjoy it. Well, we are an odd pair, aren't we? Sir Monk, for I enjoy helping the poor. May I? Your empty belly sent you. So fill them. Chaucer? What? I don't believe this. How much did you lose? Lose what? Gambling. Your clothes, even? Not a penny. My clothes lie there. I can't even think of anything to say. Then why are you running around naked? Hmm? Because she was hungry. Who? Philippa, my wife. 
Oh. I'll do you for this. Hey, hey, now, hey, hey, come on. Oh, that must be what? <laughs> and your Kate, and Roland, and Will. I, I mean, Ulrich von Lichtenstein, whose mother's father was... Schiller von Rettler, <laughs> darling. Jeff's told me all about you. Right. Anyone like a bite? <laughs> what? Uh, sorry to budge in on you, uh, Mrs. Chaucer? No, no. Uh, I'll let you be. Good night. Night. I thought you was a prostitute. Get out. They seem much more fun than those boring old pilgrims you hung out with last year. What is it? Paradise, my dear, stands formed in your eyes. Oh, Jeff, come to bed. Hello. 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 Wow, this is beautiful. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm right handed. <laughs> Would, would you like to see some of my other embroidery? Yes. Good night, Roland. Good night, all. Good night, Roland. And, uh, good night, all. Good night, Kate. Good night. <laughs> good night. Go home. I'll tell you tonight how it turns out. I hope it is good news, Mum. I hope I can tell you that I managed to convince these good people to leave my Lord William unharmed. For I have never seen a heart like the one that beats inside this man. Great it is! Swollen with all the virtues risen of pride, forthright, free, courageous, constant, and most of all, filled with hope. At least until today. makes a man noble, his lineage or his heart. 
Thank you very much, Mother. You can go home now. And what are knightly virtues? And who decides who may possess them? My lord, it's true, was born poor in Cheapside, London. And so what? For he is as true as steel. No truer. For he is like gold. To me. He is like gold. And you and I are merely iron. And yet you people, you would come to see him rust. For shame. Shame on you. Leave him. Go home. 